morning everyone hope you're all doing really well today now today I've come to Watts Cemetery Chapel in Compton and today I'm going to be visiting the grave of Patricia Hayes who was an actress she was in films and she was in TV and she did a bit of radio as well and she's buried here in Watts Cemetery You'll probably hear the noise of the cars I'm quite close to the A3 here Sponsored by the Andrew Lloyd Webber Foundation Now this is the Lynch Gate It's currently being repaired Because it was, it was hit by a bus If you can see on that notice So let's go on in and I'll walk up to the grave of Patricia Hayes. Now while I walk up here, there is a chapel called Watts Chapel. And I'll have you I'll show you a little bit around that as well. It's cold today, so I'm wrapped up warm. Now Watts Chapel, which we'll come up to in a minute, I'll show you that. I don't think we'll be able to get inside because it's early in the morning which would be a shame because it's really stunning inside it's actually stunning outside as well but inside more stunning I did come here yesterday afternoon to film this but there's lots of people here there's about 20 people here so it's quite quite an attraction people come here to see Watts Chapel because of its design and it was very busy here yesterday and also also the chapel was shut anyway but I couldn't do any filming so I thought I'd come back today and I know I'm not going to get inside but at least I can do filming today so there's Watts Chapel it's quite stunning it's terracotta and it was built in 1896 by Mary and George Watts it's a bit like something that you see in Game of Thrones it's quite stunning and there's a little board here now if you want to read that just pause the video give it a read and then unpause But this is quite stunning, this chapel. Very grand doors on there. Let's have a look and see if it's open. Which it isn't. Which is a shame, but then I know it wouldn't be anyway. But look at the detail on this chapel, it's just amazing. And the faces around here, around the door entrance. Sort of has that, an Italian feel. Also sort of like a Celtic, a Celtic feel, a Celtic look. I don't know a lot about the chapel. It was just something to spell the moment to come here today or should I say yesterday where I couldn't film so it's very early this morning and that's why there's no one here I expect in a half an hour or an hour there'll be people coming here to look at this chapel but it's quite it's quite stunning Maybe, maybe I'll come here another day and maybe do a separate video on the chapel itself and hopefully I'll get inside. It's a grade one listed building.
but we're now going to have a walk up to Patricia Hayes's grave and we're taking some of the headstones as we walk by now when you travel around cemeteries graveyards and you see all the headstones a lot of them are pretty much the same but you do get some that are different and in this cemetery when I had a walk around yesterday there are some headstones that I've not seen in other cemeteries at least not yet anyway and it's always interesting when you go around different places and you see different things a bit like that chapel I've just shown you what's chapel I mean that is quite stunning I've not seen a chapel quite as stunning as that I mean I've seen some pretty bad chapels derelict ones and ruins um, but I've not seen anything quite as eye-opening as this one and it's a shame I couldn't get inside but never mind maybe another video on another day now I've been to some unique cemeteries on my travels I went to Guildford Cemetery and that was unique in a way that it had a tower in the cemetery and then I went to Petworth and that had a chapel which was in ruins and had a mass grave and that was unique and now today I've come here in Compton near Godalming and this is unique because of its stunning chapel you can just see the bell there and also what makes it unique as well is that it's got sort of sort of like I suppose you could call it like a cloister which is just here which is where there are memorials for people and well, even that itself is just stunning I mean on my travels on my YouTube channel there's a handful of cemeteries and graveyards that I would say are unique and this is one of them and if you've never never been here and you live local or, or you're traveling this way then come and have a look come and have a look at this place it's quite stunning it's quite stunning not so much the graves but more more the chapel really and if you can get inside even better even better but anyway Patricia Hayes she's just down here on the left now she was born in 1909 in Streatham and she died in 1998 and she died in the village here and she died of natural causes and she was in films TV series TV series get it out right <laughs> TV stuff that she did was the Benny Hill show, Hancock's Half Hour, um, till death to us part. A valuable food rich in proteins is eggs. It is not eggs, it is eels. It is eggs. It is eels, I've written it down and it fits. But if it was eggs, then seven across would be pig. It is not pig, it is pie. But look at the clue. Pork and you may hear it grunting. Well, you've heard of a pork pie, haven't you? I've never heard of one grunting. Look. Change pie to pig and pal to dog oh, and you've good. got eggs. And they're rich in protein and a very valuable food. Good value is egg-shaped. You've completely muddled me up. I'll have to start again now. That's it. Start the day right with eggs. Oh, this is hopeless. Look, I'll go right through the paper. It's your fault. Yeah. <laughs> He's come home from his holidays in Denmark. Oh, that'd be nice. <laughs> and finds... I prefer the Isle of Wight myself. <laughs> and finds... That is very nice there. Have you ever been there? Only Barkhurst. <laughs> and finds... <clears throat> that he 
his uncle has poisoned his father and is now having it... <laughs> no, with, with his mother, like. Just shows to go you where your permissiveness can lead. <laughs> said that if you really want to enjoy the countryside, there's nothing like the car. Oh. What's your right in it? If you don't drive more carefully, we'll both be right in it. Ah, uh, not so fast. We're only out for a run. I know a pussy's got nine lives, but they only gave me one. <laughs> ah! Whoa! Whoa! I think I'm gone. I've been absconded out the vehicle. Well, don't just stand there, young man. Check the oil, and I want four gallons in the back. Utty Dingo! What's he doing up there? Come down at once! Would you like some of a Haveline 15W40 oil, madam? Certainly not. Excuse I want Haveline 15W40 oil. I see. I'm losing my gravity! Calm down! I need some money! Look in your pocket! Right! Oh, dear. Oh, oh. I also in quite a few well-known films, like The Never-Ending Story, A Fish Called Wanda, and Willow, which was a Ron Howard film. And she is buried here. Just there is the grave of Patricia Hayes, a glove and reader headstone. And it says, in love and memory of Patricia Hayes, OBE, actress, mother, grandmother, friend, 1909 to 1998, RIP. A brilliant actress. I remember her in lots of things, in lots of things. And it's a nice little spot here as well. Just surrounded by fields and horses. There's even a little sit down and relax area down there on the end. And just over there, you can see the horses. A nice little, nice little cemetery. This one. with the added bonus of the chapel and the memorial section. And there's actually some graves here which are... the headstones are made of terracotta, which is very unusual. So yeah, the grave of Patricia Hayes, actress. Very good actress as well. Anyway, thank you for watching. Thank you for watching this little video again. And remember to like and subscribe to my channel. Hit the like button if you like this video. It's free, so just hit it. Don't even think about it, just hit it. And check out my other videos as well. If you're new to my channel, go and check my other videos out. And if you like them, hit the subscribe button. And so from Compton, near Godalming I will say thank you for watching and I will catch you next time in my next video so take care everybody take care